in the ATOC booth here with my pal Charlie. How you doing today, pal? Hi, Gary. It's I'm doing good. It's good to see you, and uh, we've got this amazing rack, the Draftmaster. Um, tell me a little bit about. Let's back up and talk a little bit about your history with this uh, with this organization. Okay. Well, I started the company back in the early '90s. Uh, not exactly recumbent related. We started in that I was riding tandems with a local friend who had the tandem. She's complaining about hard how hard it is to put it on her car to meet me for rides. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Darn it, Charlie, you're an engineer. Do something about this. Long story short, I did. When I went to make a couple in the garage for the two of us, her friends started lining up with their checkbooks. Can you make me one? And the business was born. Uh, a couple years later, we were doing so good. I said, I got to leave my day job in aerospace. I can't say no to this opportunity. I got to see what happens. And the rest is kind of history. Uh, then about 20 years ago, we bought out Draftmaster. Uh, the start, by the way, was with our topper roof racks, uh, tandem toppers, bike toppers. Um, and then we expanded with the Draftmaster line 20 years ago. Okay, sounds good. So maybe it's time to take a closer look at the uh, Draftmaster that sure. we have here. Tell us about some of the details and features that you would talk to a customer about. So the best way to think about a Draftmaster, for those that are not familiar with it, is think of it like a roof rack that's been slid back, tipped up, and mounted to a receiver hitch. And just like a roof rack, we have load bars or cross arms, as we call it, in all different widths. And we put various combinations of doodads on those cross arms to accommodate your specific needs. So we don't custom manufacture, but we configure them to order as needed when the customer tells us what their needs are. And so we can set it up a thousand different ways. That said, of course, we have our list of a couple of dozen very common configurations that are requested. Um, this unit in particular, being at the recumbent CycleCon, or as it's now known, CycleCon, right. uh, is configured for one trike. Uh, we frequently get the question immediately of, well, can you do two trikes? Absolutely. Two trikes is the same as one trike, except you would have, it's wider, and you would have a trike here and a trike here, side by side. We can also do combinations. We get requests for a trike and a regular single bike, uh, a Delta trike and a Tadpole trike. Um, you know, we can do just about any combination you can think of. Now that you've intrigued our viewers about uh, the Draftmaster, if they wanted to purchase one, is this uh, something they would go to their local dealer for? Uh, sure. Uh, the short story here is we do a dual channel distribution. We do work direct with consumers. However, if we have an established dealer in your vicinity, we absolutely want you to go to a local dealer. The best way to get service is from someone who can work with you face to face, hands on with our product, and that's the brick and mortar dealers. And you can find our list of local dealers on our website, you can call us, and of course you're welcome to go into your favorite local trike shop or recumbent shop and ask for our products. Okay, yeah, atoc.com, yeah? atoc.com, also draftmaster.com. Okay, either way. Okay, lastly, I guess we'd like to see a little action here. So, like, okay. if you wanted to mount a, a trike on something like this, can you show us how that is done? Sure. Okay. So, we've already got the trike in the, what I call the preloaded situation uh, or position. Uh, to get it here, you typically just kind of swing the trike forward, bring the front end up, and I shove the back wheel underneath at the same time. It's uh, not as hard as it sounds. And then you maneuver it with the weight resting on the back wheel, so you're just balancing it until it's in this position. And then to get it into the driving position, uh, I'll demonstrate also. I push forward typically with my hips. It's a little different for people of different sizes, but... There you go. And the effort to do that is about equal to lifting half the weight of your bikes. I thought you were going to say half the weight of your body. So that's very, no. that's, that's a lot less. No. That's good. <laughs> Definitely less. Not quite smooth and easy. A nice clicking, satisfying clicking sound at the end there. You know it's yep. secure. One detail about our rack is, remember, I'm an aerospace engineer and I understand redundancy and safety. Just the geometry of the rack keeps the trike slid down in and secured on the rack. 
by no means do we consider that adequate from a safety standpoint. So we also add a wheel strap for each and every wheel, okay. plus a safety strap that goes up and around the frame to keep it in and make sure it can't jiggle as, the, as you drive down the road and hit some bumps. Uh, very secure system. We've never heard of anyone having any problems with uh, the trike being secure on the rack, and I like to keep it that way. <laughs> Step back out of the shot. Here. All right, it's down. So here, one of the other one of the other unique features of the Draftmaster is its modularity and quick neck capabilities. There's no other rack like this on the market. You can get into your car easily whether or not the rack is loaded with your bikes. And while we already have it all, the bike off, back of the car would be about here, and you simply swing the rack back and down, and now you can get into the back of your car no problem with or without the bikes on it. And when you're not using it, one of the unique features of our racks is the quick connect capability. So I just took the trike rail off, if you would hold that carry. You got it. And now the cross arms come off as well. And the bottom cross arm, which is small in this case, uh, but the bottom one comes off the same way. And then all you're left with is the parallelogram unit uh, bolted into your receiver hitch. And you can still, of course, swing that back to get in your car. If you want to take it off, you just unbolt it from the receiver. It's up to the consumer. Well, lots of options, uh, lots of configurations. It's, it's Absolutely. great, Charlie. Yeah. So let's, uh, let's wrap it there then from the ATOC booth. Charlie, thanks so much okay. for talking with us and showing you're everything welcome. about the Draftmaster, all right? Thanks, Pat. Thanks, Gary. Have a good day. You too.